I think it's time for a Poundland hack, because let's face it, the most fun you can have with Poundland shit is hacking it to do stuff, different stuff, or improve it, or just change it. So, this is one of the Poundland lamps, and you may recall from a previous video I did on it, that this is a circuitry, and it's got this generous 560 nanofarad capacitor, and each of these LEDs contains three chips, and it runs them quite hard, to the point they get very, very hot. So, um, I'm going to downgrade it. I'm going to take the existing capacitor out, which was only rated um, for 250 volts um, DC anyway, which wasn't that great across the mains, and I'm going to put in this capacitor instead, which is about the same pin pitch, but is the largest I had in... largest value I had in that size, which is 220 nanofarad. I'd rather have gone 330 nanofarad, but this will do. So let's get this capacitor out. Why am I? Why am I just not? Oh, there it goes. This will be this infernal lead-free soda, probably. So that's the old capacitor out. Let's uh, clean that up with desoldering wick. Looks pretty good. And let's get the new capacitor in. Druid of solder. Ooh, feel the luxury of lead based solder. Ooh, you lucky lamp. <laughs> Interesting to note that they've used a uh, silicon insulated wire going to the LEDs, which is probably just as well given how hot they got before, which was in excess of 100 degrees centigrade, which is a bit hot for LEDs. So let's crop that off. That's it suitably downgraded and, in a sense, upgraded. And let's put this back in now that that uh, new capacitor's fitted. So we'll put this back into the base. And I have to align these wires up so that they poke into the correct position when I push them into the base here so I can solder them. This could be the footriest bit. Yes, it is. If you get them roughly in position, they will self-align to a degree. Oh, this, this is uh, not happening. Let's try again. Third time lucky, perhaps? Oh, this is definitely the footriest bit. They'll go. I've got confidence here. I presume that uh, when they make these lamps in the first place, oh, there we go. When they make these lamps in the first place, the wires will be a lot longer and they'll just crop them after the, after the soldering's been done. So I'll switch to a bigger solder now and flood some solder onto these pads. Not too much. And then I'll crop these leads down flush with the solder joint and then put a tiny spot more solder on so that it just builds up over the end of the cropped lead. Perfect. And after that, uh, once I've removed all the little solder blobs that shoot off as the flux evaporates, I shall uh, fold those leads over like that and then clip this circuit board into place. Now what's the best way to clip this in? Oh, it does have little, uh, does have little uh, shaped indents for clipping in. Oh. Quite footry indeed. But it'll go. Oh, there it goes. Right, that's it in. So let's uh, plug this in and see what the new power rating is. So where's my lap holder? This may just go bang. There's always that risk. Ah, oh, that's better. Now, its power rating is exactly one watt.
that's going to be a big improvement because it was 2.5 watts before and it was getting very hot but now it's uh, it's actually more than just a night to light level brightness it's actually pretty good that's quite bright actually and the temperature is going to be a lot lower though now let's find out what uh, current's going through the LEDs now so I'll stick that over to Milaps. Uh, let's see, mode, let's uh, put it to AC Milamp. Oh no, let's put it to DC, what am I talking about? And let's bridge one of these LEDs out. Keep in mind, they're all live at mains voltage. It's bridged out, the current through it is now 11.78 milamps. Now keep in mind that the, the, these have three chips them, so 11.78 milamps 11.78 milamps, oh, oh, uh, 0 0.0, milamps, uh, amp should I say, times, uh, the voltage across it was going to be about 9, it's going to be lower now, so it's going to be about 9 volts, so the dissipation is around about half the dissipation rating of that LED package, so that's a huge improvement, that's going to make that lamp last ages now, but let's uh, compare it, so that's uh, the new brightness, and there's the old brightness, which was a lot brighter. Actually, you know, is it really that much brighter? Yes, it is. It's a good chunk brighter. The old one. But um, it doesn't look that much of a reduction. It looks pretty good to me. So that's a, a good result. This will be quite a useful lamp now, and it will last a lot longer now that it's uh, under running the LEDs.